Hey, what's up my brothers and sisters? This is Jared from Head PE and you're watching Gross Magazine. Logan Case here once again for Gross Magazine. I'm sitting here today with Jared of Head PE. Jared, how's it going, buddy? Good, brother. Thank you. Awesome, awesome. Pretty stoked about your third head-to-head -head tour with Mushroom Head. I mean, you guys come on this tour voluntarily, or you guys being forced to go on this tour, somebody holding you hostage. Somebody's holding you hostage, man. You can let us know, blink a couple times, you know, No, or just no, enjoy this it. is our fa one of our uh, favorite tours, yeah, so that's why we'll just be doing one every year, because we get along really well with the Mushroom Head guys, so it just works out really well. Awesome, man. Good to hear that. We love to see you guys out here with Mushroom Head at the El Rosa Villa. Um, so, Ascension comes out sometime later this year. Is there any way you can give me, your fans, a sneak peek into when it's going to come out? Maybe an exact date? Uh, no, and it'll probably be 2013. We're going to start recording it um, when we uh, finish this tour. And uh, it's sometime in 2013, but I'm not sure when, to be to be honest. All right. Um, <laughs> well, you know, it's just how it goes sometimes. So, heard the answer more than once. Um, your EP Night came out. Um, could you tell us a little bit about that? What was behind that? How you thought about it? How about the release? Everything like that? Well, it was really just demos that I was doing over some like reggae uh, stuff that um, instrumentals that I had gathered, you know, but. Uh, some of my friends who had listened to the demos were like saying I should put it out, so I decided to just release it online for whoever was interested in listening to that type of stuff. Alright, so for the fans that really don't know Head PE that well, you guys sort of got onto the scene in 1994 in the hardcore punk, you know, genre of Orange County. Can you tell our fans a little bit about what it was like back in 1994, what that scene was like, or... Oh, wow. It's really jogging my memory here. Um, <laughs> you know, we were all just living in, in Huntington Beach at the time, and, uh, you know, uh, there was just a lot going on between, uh, yeah, the hardcore scene and musicians and um, kind of the, uh, the uh, you know, the extreme sports scene like surfing and skating in that area that all just kind of was really popping off uh, at that time so we were kind of part of a movement in the area you know so I was lucky for that that's for sure uh, <laughs> kind of wish I would have been there man I bet that was pretty pretty awesome to be a part of and see and you know be on that whole scene yeah, I mean, I have more fun now than I did back then, to be honest, so I'm not, like, nostalgic for it or anything. Well, you're a little more famous now than you were back then. There's a little well, bit of Well, yeah, and I was being, just, honestly. like, not doing too many drugs, and a lot of people at the time were doing meth in Huntington, you know, um, just, like, saturated with meth at the time, uh -huh. so I was part of that, too, and it was really lame. And, uh, but, you know, something I went through, so now I'm having more fun, you know. Sticking to the herb. <laughs> Sticking to the herb, huh? Because yeah, yeah. really, we, we saw on Facebook that you quit the herb, man. No, what I said on Facebook was that I took a break. Uh, uh, well, took know. a break. Different, different. Fair enough. Yeah. I don't like the word quit. Nobody likes the word quit. My dad yeah. didn't raise no quitter either, so I right. definitely feel you on that one. Isn't it funny that people are like actually get offended like that you would... Stop smoking for a little bit. <laughs> We're not offended at all. No, we not you it. guys. I'm saying, like, I read uh, uh, messages on Facebook where people were like, Oh, man, what do you mean? Yeah, you know, yeah. What do you mean you're not going to smoke weed all day every day? Well, you know, we have a really big pro-weed moment movement going on in America right now. A lot of people pushing for it. We got shows on TV about it. So, you know, you're a big-time big time figure as far as BD and stuff. And you have a big following. So when somebody like you gives it up or hangs it up, it kind of, you know, you're kind of pushing for all of us almost because people notice you a little more than they notice a normal person like me, per se. So Interesting, yeah. So, you know, you kind of you have the voice for all of us there. Yeah, I definitely don't want to be uh, the... Um hold the flag for uh, 
smoking weed. That's not really what I want on my tombstone. Uh -huh. I mean, it's great for for some people at certain times, but it's not really my whole, you know, uh, <laughs> reason for uh, picking up a microphone. Well, I don't, yeah, I definitely feel that. Feel that. Speaking of picking up a microphone, um, you guys, you changed over to Suburban Noise Records. I'm pretty sure. Um, how's that? How's that change been treating you guys? Loving They're it? great over there. Great over it's there. It's a great record label, you know. Um, and uh, they they don't uh, meddle in the creative process, which is uh, very important to me. Uh, so that's all I ask, you know. Let uh -huh. me turn in albums and let's put them out and whatever, you know. Uh huh. All right, so before we um, wrap up this interview, what's next for Head PE? Where do you guys go from here? Well, I'd hope we go to Brazil, because I'm dying to play in Brazil. Um, you know, we've spent all year overseas and stuff. We're just going to keep doing what we're doing. Uh -huh. um, just keep writing heavy music and playing, you know, music that's relevant, you know, and honest, and whatever, you know. <laughs> So I know I said I was going to wrap this up, but Brazil, you said you're really interested in playing there. Why? Is there a specific reason? Oh, well, my or... parents are from Brazil, so all my roots are in Brazil. Um, so I'm dying to go play there. We almost were going to go with Il Nino, uh, but um, the scheduling was off. But um, it, it's something that's going to happen. Well, it's something that I just found interesting to me myself. I also truly, really like to go to Brazil before I die. It's one of my things on my bucket list. I kind of saw that, you know, you can hang glide over Rio de Janeiro for a certain right. price. And wow. I was like, straight over the city onto amazing. the beach, man. Like, that's just amazing. You know, we don't get away with stuff like that here in the United States. Laws, regulations, all that. But, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Seeing that uh, we are Gross Magazine, it's a tradition of ours to always end our interview with what is the grossest thing or experience that you ever had in your entire life, on tour, off tour, doesn't really? matter. Really? Gross, huh? Yep. Well, I bought my son this um, Dr. Dreadful lab, and it makes these really gross, foamy brains, <laughs> and um, you can make these gummy worms and eat them and a gummy spider and eat that and it makes like uh, a barf drink that was really fucking gross <laughs> that is pretty fucking that's about gross. the grossest thing ever <laughs> it's warm and it feels like intestines this barf drink anyway but he loves it he loves anything gross and, you know. <laughs> just think about those fucking people making that stuff they're like you know we don't want our own kids to eat bugs but we're gonna make them in gummy versions so everybody else's kids well it's gonna taste I just know. like that gummy I, spider you know, we it made. took me forever to, to uh cave in to get it for him for that reason because uh -huh. i was like this is this is fucking disgusting you know <laughs> yeah well you know what man jared it has been absolutely excellent i wish you the best of luck on the rest Thanks, of this dude. tour That's, man uh, that helps when people wish head pe you know good good energy it, it really empowers us and that's the only reason that we're still around is because of the thousands of um of people that empower us uh -huh. the fans man the fans it really, really is you know same deal with us man if we don't have the fans we don't exist so i definitely feel that guys this has been logan case once again with gross magazine we love you all jared head pe head to head tour mushroom head jared with his band later tonight. I hope you guys all check us out on grossmag.com. Love you and good night. Jared. Yeah, brother. Thank you.